Ooh, child, I can't believe I'm making this video, but anyway, y'all. So, if you're new here, this is and this your first time seeing me, it's kind of ironic, I guess. But my name is Ryan. I guess I can go ahead and introduce myself a little bit. So, if you don't already know me, but I am a full time college student, I do nails, lashes, and I crochet. And I just started a new business, a jewelry business called Charm by Ryan B. Y'all should go shop. I don't have a website yet, but you can shop through DM. So, that's that. I'm going to have to, you know what, hold on, y'all. Let me free some storage on my SD card. Okay, so now I'm good. Got 47 minutes. So, yeah, so I do a lot, y'all. But if she would ask me, I would mostly consider myself a nail tech just because that's really what I love. Like, I don't, don't get me wrong. I love doing lashes as well. I love crocheting, but I love, love, love doing nails. So, that brings me to why I'm doing this video. So, um... I was a at-home nail tech. I live on campus. I live in like, you know, our university apartments. And before I lived here, I also lived in like the sophomore university apartments. And that's where I started doing nails originally. Um, So it grew from there, you know, clientele started growing, business started growing. People were made like aware that I did nails on campus. I advertised that I did nails on campus. That kind of was like my big niche, like nail, you know, my I'm an on-campus nail tech because I targeted college students because, you know, everybody don't drive. And I know like my freshman year, well, only my first semester, I didn't have a car. So I was like catching Ubers and stuff to the nail shop because y'all, I love my, I love my nails. Like I love doing them. I love having them done. Like I keep a set of nails on. So when I didn't have a car, I was catching, you know, Ubers and stuff to the nail shops and stuff. So I just was like, you know, this is convenient. Like, I do nails. I do quality nails on campus. You know, I was just accessible to everybody. So that was kind of like my, my thing or whatever. So um, I moved to the this apartment I'm here now, like, last summer or whatever. And I've been doing nails, doing lashes here. It's never been a problem. Like, literally, our building managers, they come and do pest control. They come and change the air filters. Like, people come in and out, like, as I'm doing nails. People that work for the university. And there's never been an issue. Never been a problem. Never. Like, even since the old apartment. People have came in and out as I was doing clients. They're like, hey, how you doing? And that's it. So, yesterday, I was doing nails. I had my first client at 11 a.m. Um, I was... You know, almost done with her. I was painting on her French tips or whatever. So I had a knock at the door and they were like, housing. So I really was thrown off guard because my roommate, her door is broken. So I knew that she had put in like a little, you know, housing uh, maintenance form or whatever. So I thought that was them coming. So I remember I had called her name, but then I just went and opened the door. So when I looked at the people. It was a lady I had never seen before. Um, and... You know, I opened the door and she was like, hey, are you Ryan? So I was like, yes, ma'am. So she was like, can you come, you know, outside and talk to me for a little bit? So I just, like, I kind of was just, like, confused. I'm like, what's going on? Whatever. So <clears throat> she basically told me that, you know, I've been made aware that you're running a business out of your apartment. Da -da -da -da. That's not allowed. Um, you have to shut down immediately. She was like, I see you're doing nails right now. The client that you're working on, she has to leave. Like, just like, and I'm, like, it's just, I'm thrown for a loop because I did not expect, like, I did not wake up that morning, yesterday morning expecting that at all. So, I'm like, you know, hold on, wait, like, what's the issue, though? So, I'm like, you know, is it the traffic in and out the apartment? Is it, like, the smell? Like, is somebody complaining? And she's like, no, you just cannot do it. So, she's, like, queuing for my client to, like, get up and get out. And I was like, wait, I said, she'll, she'll leave when I finish. Like, her nails weren't done, y'all. I was never let. Like, I would have just had to get in trouble. Like, disciplinary actions or whatever you had to do, that would have had to be done. But you're not going to just make her leave. Like, her service isn't done. Like, nobody has told me this before. Literally, people come all the time. Like, the, the head man, the head building manager or whatever, he's came in here. But apparently, he's not working, I guess, from my apartment anymore. So, she's the new lady. So, um, so I'm like, well, is somebody complaining? I'm, I'm trying to get to the bottom. I'm like, what is the issue? She was like, no, nobody's complaining. She was like, people actually, uh, um, like, recommended. So, basically, some shit, I guess she was talking about nails with somebody. And somebody, like, literally just recommended her as a client. And instead of her just, like, come get her nails done, she came to shut shop down. So, it was like, I, that's how I knew it was no, like, malicious stuff. Nobody was like, you know, well, I don't know. I'm not going to say that. But that's how she painted the picture that, like, somebody was just, like, kind of advocating for me. And, like, you know, Shakira. Yeah, that's my cat. Advocating for me and was just, like, you know, 
she does really good work and then she, i guess she did her research and found out that i do nails at the apartment that she's working for and boom so i was like you know and I'm, I'm not having to add to with this lady the whole time we're talking you know I'm, I'm trying to be very i'm trying to be very understanding y'all i'm trying to be you know as polite as possible because at this point like i'm begging like please don't like make me stop like so um i was like well since i haven't been made aware like that this was an issue could i at least get like a week's notice y'all mind you y'all this weekend is prom for some of my girls i had to refund almost 400 dollars worth of deposits just uh, for like until monday that's how many clients i had so i was just like could i just please have like a week to like try to wrap this up and get a new area that i could work out of you know she was so rude y'all like well i'm not gonna say rude but she was real ruthless like she was real like cutthroat dry like no like you gotta stop now like after this girl she's like you, there's no more people so i had two more clients yesterday that i had that i had to cancel and cancel everybody up until monday like i said y'all and like when i tell you i was crying i was crying bawling my eyes out like literally painting her french tips like <laughs> crying and she was like, and my client was like, girl, you know, you like, you, this is not nothing like you should be really upset about. So I called my mom and my mom was like, you know, she was like, you probably think this is the end of the world. But like, this is probably like your big break, like your biggest blessing in disguise. And my roommate was saying the same thing. So I'm just trying to like get myself together. And I'm like, okay, you know what? When she, when my client done, I'm going to try to like get on this research where I could go. Who has this available? What's the rent? Is it affordable? You know, what's affordable? And like part of me was really was really mad because I'm like I'm looking at her and she don't have no stack. I'm looking for her to have a stack of envelopes. One for everybody in this apartment complex that run a business. Because I would never do that, y'all. I would never tell nobody or snitch on about nobody. Because I don't know if that's what happened to me, but I would never do that to nobody. But when I tell y'all, I know so many people that run businesses out of like the university housing because y'all were college students. We have to pay y'all stinking asses. Like, we have to. We got to pay y'all. So, I don't know. It was just like, I think it's just, it was so random, which is why it just threw me off and really made me upset. And it was the fact that, like, you couldn't give me no, no little, like, grace period. No, you just, you was not trying to be lean with me at all. And then it was a black lady, y'all. A black lady. So, I'm like. We supposed to be sticking together. Like, you just got a new job. You supposed to be trying to put me on. You supposed to come knock on my door and be like, hey, try to keep it a little bit under wraps. People talking. Not come shoot, like, shut me down. Like, I just, I don't know. That's just me, y'all. I would never do that to nobody. Especially, like, a college student. I'm trying to make my money. I'm trying to support myself. You know, I'm trying to stay debt free in school, period. So, that's really why. I, but I love working for myself anyway. But, I don't know. That's neither here nor there. So, now I'm kind of just in a stuck, like, kind of like just stuck between the rock in a hard place because i had to cancel all my clients so now i'm just trying to get into relocating um finding something that's affordable i'm gonna go um look at a new space today actually so hopefully y'all pray that it goes through but i'm gonna post try to post this video this morning just because i want to update y'all i don't have any nail content that i was filming like any dedicated nail content which i'm kind of sad that i don't have already to just kind of post so i want to come on here and just make a video and let you guys know like why you probably won't be seeing any nail content for not too long though y'all i really do not want to be out of commission no more than like a week or two if that like honestly i'm trying to because I didn't cancel my clients until Wednesday. I might have to, but I'm trying to find somewhere to go. And like, well, this past summer, I actually wasn't able to do nails because I was working for a program for the school. So I had to um, kind of move out of my apartment and move into a dorm because I was working with kids. And so I didn't have anywhere to do my nails. So my friend, she let me do nails out of her house, but she's moving and she's like downsizing so it's not like she's gonna have extra room so i was like dang like that's out but i'm just keeping the faith y'all i'm just gonna stay like try to keep myself uplifted about it but i'm really sad y'all like i love doing nails i that's what i do every day so for you just come here and take that from me like i'm really like i'm really pissed but like i said it's probably like my big break like this is probably what i needed because i would not have left on my own and maybe this is what i needed to expand my business and i was literally just talking about that with my friend like how you know i want to open up a storefront how i just want to you know expand my business i just want to keep growing literally that came out of my mouth the night before this happened 
So I can't, maybe, maybe y'all know they, what they say, the, the tongue is something, I don't know. But anyway, y'all, I don't want to make this video too long. I just kind of want to get up here and let y'all know what happened so that y'all not like, where the content, where the nail content. I do have vlogs filmed, but they're not nail dedicated. And I know that my channel is mostly centered on nails because, like I said, that's what I do every day. So that's what I film every day. But I do have some content that I'm going to be posting soon. It's just like a week in a life, but it's not really. I think I had like one day where I filmed my clients, but it's not nail dedicated. Um, and in the video after that, I think it was like a cooking vlog and stuff. So it's not any nail dedicated or lash dedicated content. Ooh, excuse me. So I just want to get on here and let y'all know what happened. I think that's all I need to say, y'all. Um, but y'all just pray for me. And we're going to see what happens next. <laughs> Bye, y'all.